It's shockingly loud in the stadium. I should have anticipated that. I stupidly pictured a women's soccer game being as poorly attended as they were when I was little. From a moral standpoint, I'm glad that I was wrong. For the sake of my ears, I'm cringing. The stands are packed with families, co-eds, and plenty of locals. Signs decorate the rows and those goddamn buvuzelas blast from all corners of the stadium. It's dusk, and there's a hint of crisp coolness to the air that reminds me so much of fall in Washington, it nearly makes me smile. I'd be lying if I said sitting here doesn't make me feel like someone slit my gut, took a fistful of my intestines and drew them out. I feel empty and alienated. It's wrong for me to be on this side of that fence. I belong on a field. The reliable defender in back. Not sitting on my ass. Legs wiggling. Longing to do what I've loved since I could walk. Playing the beautiful game. It's been two years. I tell myself I'm over my loss. And most of the time I feel like I am. I'm a practical person. Logically, rationally... I recognize my skill is compromised. My opportunity is gone. And that's reality. I'm also my Swedish mother's son, who raised me in her culture's spirit of Lagome. Just enough. No excess or extravagance. Contented simplicity. I had my years of soccer greatness, which was extravagance enough. When they ended, yes, I felt shitty for a while but then I accepted my Lagome life and moved on. I thought I was past grieving what I lost, but maybe grief isn't linear. Maybe I can accept what I've lost and still mourn. Maybe I always will. My phone dings. Aiden. She's good, right? I shrug as I type. Decent enough? Our eyes meet as he rolls his. You're full of shit, he says. <laughs> 